All right, guys, so this over here, this is called the Mobius EX2710. So it's a 27 inch gaming monitor capable of doing 144 Hertz. So today I thought we'd unbox it and we'd check out how gaming with the Xbox Series X and the PS5 looks like on a gaming monitor like this. Now this has HDR support. It supports 144 Hertz, so you can do 120 FPS gaming on this as well. So uh, let's have a look at the image quality and whether the console is supported or not. I've never really tried a gaming monitor, but from what I understand, 144 Hertz gaming is the best way to play like competitive shooters and things like that. It's really difficult to get 4K at 120 frames a second. So they don't make too many 4K 120 Hertz or 144 Hertz gaming monitors. The standard on gaming monitors is a little different from what it is on TVs. So they have a display port 2.0 technology, which allows it to do the 1440p 120 or 144 hertz gaming but i do not have one of those cables and the xbox and the ps5 are not capable of doing that so we'll be depending on hdmi 2.0 and that should be able to get you 1440p at 120 frames a second pretty close to the full specifications of this monitor uh, with hdr and all that so we'll have a look and see how this works so now the monitor comes with two HDMI 2.0 ports and a display port as I was mentioning. It's also got a headphone jack. So I was seeing some of the tech specs of this monitor and so they do have something like Apple's True Tone where the monitor will adjust to the conditions in your room. Uh, probably want to turn that off if you're doing some kind of photo editing or video editing on this thing. But um, it should help with like eye strain and things if you're just reading a document. Pretty simple to set up, no screwdrivers or anything required. You get a power cable and a display port cable in the box. So here, quick look at the design of the monitor from the back. It's got a nice gaming look. I like the orange accents at the bottom as well. It's got a futuristic looking design. This is it from the front. Let's plug this in now and see what gaming looks like on it. I'm gonna start with the Xbox Series X. So it does come with the HDMI cable in there as well. All right guys, so we've got the Xbox Series up and running. Now, this monitor has audio as well, so I can hear the Xbox coming out of the speakers of this thing. Now let's check out what resolution the Xbox Series X has picked up. So currently it's still set to 4K 60 frames a second. So let me change that to 120, but we should be getting the 120 frames a second now. So let me just download a game that I know has 120 frames a second mode. This monitor also has FreeSync. And I don't know whether that's working with the Xbox Series X. That should stabilize any frame rate issues if you have any. So if the frames go up and down, you won't see any screen tearing. So it's allowing YCC422, which is the deepest color depth you can get. It doesn't have Dolby Vision, but it does have HDR10. So check out a game that I'm familiar with. We'll uh, check out some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, so I've been playing this on a 4K 65 inch TV. But I do notice some frame rate drops or screen tearing when I play that. So let's check it out on this monitor. And it's really hard to tell the resolution difference on uh, a smaller monitor like this one. Because uh, as I was saying in my previous video as well, anything under really a 55 inch TV, you can't really see the difference between 4K and 1080p. And here also I'm like struggling to find a difference. Maybe it looks slightly less sharp than it would at 4K. This is running at a smooth 60 frames a second on this. Usually when I move the camera up and down like this, I see a lot of screen tearing. I'm not really noticing any screen tearing right now. Maybe because it's running at 1080p. It's apparently the input is still at 3840 by 2060. So it's still at 4K, the input and 60 Hertz. It reaches the game outputting to the monitor at 4K, 60 frames a second, and then down sampling at uh, 1080p. So another game that definitely has uh, the support for uh, 120 hertz is Gears of War 5 in the multiplayer mode. So on the screen, the HDR effect is quite obvious because the fire over here is like quite a bit brighter. So here it is letting me go to 120 frames a second. The monitor is actually reporting that I'm doing 1080p at 120 hertz. So let's see how good 120 hertz looks on this. Man, this feels great. It's so smooth. 
like when you move your camera around you really feel the the smoothness difference there's like the response time feels a little faster i don't know how to explain this but i can see it now it's not a huge change from say 60 frames a second but it just feels like the most buttery smooth gaming experience ever you're getting laws of diminishing returns like 120 frames a second versus 144 frames a second you're probably not seeing that huge a difference man you just feel like a better player just by uh oh man i don't have any guns you just feel like a better player with uh, 120 frames per second Okay, so this is Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and this is supposed to be another 120 hertz game. This should be a good test of the HDR on the screen. Okay, this looks crisp. Okay, so this gives you the option to either do 6K super sampled at 60 frames a second, or 4K at 120. So uh, I chose 120. Let's just quickly check what the monitor is running at. So the monitor is still running at 4K 60. So this is not 120 frames a second. I don't know if I can switch that. It's really difficult for me to tell the difference between 60 frames a second and 120. There was a slight difference in Gears of War 5, but the HDR in this looks fantastic, I must say. Like the way that Ori is glowing and stuff, it looks really nice. The art direction in this uh, Ori is uh, really good. Yeah, so I'm not sure why this game's not running at 120 because uh, Gears of War was. But it's still super smooth and the HDR looks unbelievable. Okay, now let's switch to the PS5. Okay, so it detected that it's a new screen and automatically gave me the HDR brightness detection. Now I don't have any games that do 120 hertz on the PS5, so... It's going to be, I think Destiny does do it. But let's check out how Spider-Man Miles Morales looks on this. this. Game's been amazing, by the way. I'm going to be putting out my PS5 review soon. But this game really does feel next gen. Like, look at the instantaneous uh, loading of the game. There are no load screens on this. Okay, so this is at 30 frames a second. I mean, it's looking great. Colors look fantastic on this uh, monitor. You do feel the HDR effect. Monitor's outputting yeah, 1080p at 60 hertz. Now you can see the 60 frames a second. Now, I'm sure you guys can't see it at home because I'm not recording in 60 frames a second, but this is looking super smooth. Now, I did finish Miles Morales. It is an absolutely phenomenal game. If you have a PS5 or even a PS4 Pro or a PS4, Definitely check out Miles Morales. It's a great game, especially if you like the first Spider-Man. Uh, I actually liked the characterization in this a little bit more and the graphics are just out of this world. Okay, so I'm checking out Days Gone on this and it's a 1080p monitor, but it looks super sharp and the HDR looks amazing. So I think what's happening is the PS5 is downsampling the 4K image to 1080p. I mean, because the monitor is quite small, you can't really tell the difference between 4K and 1080p. On the biggest screen, you can. On a 65-inch TV, you can. So now let's check out Destiny 2, which is the only game I could find on the PS5 that apparently supports 120 frames a second. PS5 requires you to have a full new build, a PS5 build of this game. Uh, of the same game, whereas the Xbox can just have a patch. So I think there's more support 120 frames a second games on the Xbox Series X versus the PS5 as of right now, just because of the way that Xbox allows you to publish the game on their platform. Okay, this feels like 30 frames a second. So I don't know whether I have the... I don't see the option as well for 120 frames a second. So that kind of sucks. I just downloaded this game to check out 120 frames a second. So yeah, nothing I can find right now on the PlayStation 5 that I own already or that I have that uh, is giving me 120 frames a second. So unfortunately, we can't test this, but rest of the stuff looks great. Okay, so a uh, quick overview of the monitor. Uh, I think the quality looks really good. Uh, the black levels aren't quite super black, but the response time is really nice and the HDR looks extremely good on this. 
So this is around a 1,400 dirham uh, monitor, or around a $350 monitor. And if you want it specifically for gaming, it's a pretty good deal because it does have AMD FreeSync on it as well. So if you have an AMD graphics card, you're gonna get a lot more out of this monitor. If you want it for productivity, I would still say go for a 1440p monitor over this, but uh, overall, it's good for gaming. The PS5 and Xbox Series X look great in 1080p as well, even though I wasn't really able to test out 120p gaming on the PS5. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.